Okay, so my name is Aron Stansvik, and um, I was flown out here for free, courtesy of the KDE EV, which I cannot thank enough for that, because it's absolutely amazing to be here and uh, meet all you guys and just listen to the discussions and everything going on. And um, yeah. Of course, I need to thank Google, too, because they're paying for my hotel. And of course, for hosting us. You've been great. And um, yeah, that's about what I wanted to say. It's just a big thank you for everything. And I'm not the only winner here. It's also Kyle Cunningham. And he's apparently going to show something on his laptop, too, which I want. And here he is. If I were a religious man, KDE would be the pantheon of the gods. A pantheon in which the sweet sounds from Amarok would sing sweetly to the other divine presences while plasma gleefully floated about. It's not that KDE is perfect, but I think that the spirit behind KDE may be perfect. And it's that spirit which drives all the developers, artists, documenters, and other contributors to work on it daily. It's something that's truly amazing to witness. So, as you already know, my name is Kyle Cunningham. I'm a student at the University of Minnesota, and I'm majoring in computer science and computer engineering. I'm also an open source developer. Um, this summer, I participated in the Google Summer of Code, um, and I worked on Drupal, and I'm doing some features that will hopefully appear in Drupal 7. Um, so you may ask yourself why I'm up here talking to you. Um, after all, I am just a student. You've heard much more imp important people than me talk earlier today. But I think I have a couple things to share. And I've really come here for the knowledge that the KDE community has. Uh, you're obviously all good developers. I'm using KDE 4 right now. And I want to be a KDE developer myself, so I've come to learn from you all. And I've also come, of course, for the rest of the community. I mean, uh, using software can be impersonal. We don't really see anyone behind it. Um, and so it's nice to be able to put all these faces on the software that we use daily. Um, and you know what? Uh, all you people come from very diverse backgrounds. We are a very large community. And to see all those facets that make up, you know, what is the KDE gem um, is really amazing. But, you know, I suppose there's something a little more. And that's, you know, I just wanted to say about KDE 4.0, it's pretty awesome. It has some rough edges, but I use it now. I enjoy using it, and it grows on me every day. And, you know, it's clear that it's really only the beginning. I can see that it's going to go great places. But, you know, even more so, there's something I, I just really, really want to say. Um, you know, and that's making software is really hard. Um, as a student, I've already found this out. And even huge companies have trouble making a good piece of software or even releasing it on time. <laughs> but, you know, making good open source software can be more difficult even because it's pretty thankless sometimes. There isn't, you know, all that much reward in it, but yet so many people do it because they enjoy it and because they're passionate about it. And so if I could get all of the KDE contributors to stand up, please. And so, and so to all you people, uh, there's just one thing I want to say, and that is thank you all very, very much. <laughs> um, you guys have all done an amazing job, and you have a lot of obstacles in your way, and despite all that, 
you know, you've still done amazing work. And so, thank you very much. And on that note, um, to all UKD contributors, um, you should come talk to me. I've already talked to many of you. Um, and if you come talk to me, I would be happy to buy you a beer. <laughs> and so lastly, I just wanted to say good luck. Um, I'm looking forward to 4.1, and I think even beyond that, it's going to be even better. So thank you all again, and thank you very much for having me here. Have a good release event, y'all. Auden and, and Kyle are the most enthusiastic KDE users on the planet. Um, if you know the, the Scandinavian mentality, he is beside himself. Um, maybe, we, maybe we can take a couple of questions for the guys. Um, yeah, as a fellow Swede who's also very shy, I, I'd like to uh, ask Aaron to actually describe his daily work. It's quite amazing how he uses KDE and how he uses computers in his work? Um, well, actually, I can't run it at the cafe because, uh, yeah, I forgot to say, I run a little book cafe in my hometown. And um, so I can't really use it there because, and that's what one thing I would like to uh, do is make a little shameless call for help. If someone is interested in writing like the most simple uh, suit of administrative programs like bookkeeping, point of sale, billing, stuff like that. Because that's one thing that really misses, that KDE really misses. Then please come to me. I'm, I'll be glad to help to the best of my abilities. But um, apart from that, uh, I use KDE at home. I, I can't really use it at work. But I'm hoping to be able to. And um, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay, I have a understanding that there is uh, some offer for coffee or something to KDE developers and. Of course, of course. In that, or, uh, come visit your bookstore. Totally, totally. So, uh, as much coffee as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Just come to Sweden, man. It's pretty far, and you don't want to go there now. I, I really want to thank, thank you for flying me out here, like right now, because right now my home country is like a hell of dark, cold <laughs> bitterness. <laughs> so, thank you for giving me some sun. Here we got a well hidden question. Uh, well hidden question. Um, Carl, this is some advice rather than a question. Uh, you say just a student. I say future of the free software community, and you shouldn't forget it. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Anyone else? Otherwise, we will thank the two guys for yeah. being here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And thank you very much.